Hey guys, welcome to Medic Minds video series on the medical interview. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Annika and I'm a fifth year medical student at UCL. In today's video, we're going to be talking about panel interviews. This is a traditional old fashioned style and involves about two to three people talking and asking some questions. However, these days most universities actually do MMIs, which are multiple mini interviews. These are quite modern and involve lots of small mini topics at each station. In today's video, we're going to focus on select universities that do panel interviews. Our team at Medic Mind has done lots of research into each university, and I'm going to go through my top tips for panel interviews. Panel interviews tend to be less diverse than MMIs. This means that you can really prepare well for the common questions they might ask. Interviewers always focus on certain types of questions, and if you're prepared for most of them, then you've got a good chance of doing well. Firstly, there's motivation for medicine. Universities love to ask you this classic question of why medicine? And even though this is the most stereotyped question from every medical interview, you still have to prepare for it because it still comes up. Also, you could be asked about the different medical specialities and your interest in the scientific side of medicine. Second, there's work experience. You should be ready to talk about any one of your different work experience placements and what you've learned from them. And third, there's your key skills and personalities. Panel interviews always ask about your key skills your strengths, your weaknesses, and much, much more. They often like to link this to your extracurricular activities. For example, name me a time you've shown good leadership. So, these are the three key categories of questions, motivation for medicine, work experience, and key skills. There's a few more too, like medical ethics, but we'll talk about them later in the video. When it comes to interviews, some people say that you can't prepare at all. That's wrong you can prepare, and you really need to. Don't drive yourself crazy, and it's important to balance schoolwork, but you need to put the hard work in. One tip I'd recommend is building your own model answers to the commonly asked questions. For questions like why medicine, what is your best skill, discuss your work experience, it can be really hard to think on the spot. Now, I'm not saying that you have to memorize a paragraph for each question, <laughs> no, no. But instead, I want you to build bullet point model answers. This gives you a rough guidance on how to structure your response. For example, let's take the question, what is your best skill? And if I ask you this now, would you really be able to give me an answer on the spot? For my UCL interview, I'd prepared for this question and was actually asked it. I knew that I was going to talk about strong communication, and then I knew how to link it to my enjoyment in acting and performing. And finally, I would like to link it to my work experience and talk about why good communication is so important for a doctor. So. Just by having those three points in my head, I was able to stay calm, give a natural but structured answer. As well as preparing for common questions, a good medical applicant should know some core knowledge. If you go in knowing nothing about the NHS or medical ethics, it just won't leave a good impression. How do GPs work in primary care and how do they link to consultants in hospitals? What are CCGs? It's really important to know the structure of the NHS and to be able to answer such questions. Also, you should know about recent hot topics in the news. For example, did you know that in the October 2018 financial budget, someone talked about an increase in mental health funding? Do the research online and really work on getting up to speed. Lastly, you need to know about medical ethics. An interviewer may give you an ethical scenario to read beforehand and then ask you to discuss it in detail with them. It's crucial to read up on topics like abortion, confidentiality, euthanasia, organ donation, and many more. You should know your universities inside out. When I was applying for UCL, I did lots of research into their course structure, the different modules, the professors, and much more. A great tip is to be proactive. For example, some universities offer intercalated BSEs, which involves you taking a year out to work on a specific field and often carry out research. If you're applying for Imperial, why not just see the list of BSEs they offer and pick one that interests you? Then, email the head of the BSE just saying, Hi there, I'm very keen on applying to Imperial and I'm fascinated by the BSE you run. Could you give me a little more information on the modules? They might just send you a one-line reply with a link, but in the interview, you can say, I've actually spoken to Dr. Edwards from the Immunology Department, a field I think I might be keen on. The interviewer will probably know the number of staff you're talking about. It takes five minutes to send a quick email, but it can go a long way in the interview. This is just one of the many things you can do to stand out. And now for my last tip. In your interview, 
it's so important to present yourself well. Dress formally, have a clean haircut, and keep a good posture. Leaning back on your chair or looking scruffy can just really look bad for an interviewer. And also, keep practicing to try and cut out words such as like, or basically, from your answers. It's natural sometimes, but some students talk very informally in the interview, and it can really affect how you come across. So there you have it. These are my five tips for mad panel interviews. I could probably go on and give you 100 different tips, but I won't bore you. Stay confident, believe in yourself, and please put the hard work in. Whether you're shy or outgoing, a good talker or an anxious speaker, you've got many amazing qualities. And if you believe in yourself, these qualities will come out in the interview. Good luck and see you in my next video, which is on tips for MMIs. Thanks for watching. Click here to sign up for one to one tutoring with insider university knowledge, guaranteed improvement, and a personalized experience. Get your medicine offer today.